New developments decades in the making. Officers say the cold case murder of this man is now solved. It's a case that's bothered the Escondido Police Department for years. And here's the man now accused of the killing. Amazingly, it's this bloody handprint found in 1986 that finally led to the arrest. Our 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is in Escondido and advanced technology is the difference in this case for investigators. Decades after the murder of 75 year old Richard Finney, an arrest. I was shocked. Gina Curry's grandfather was stabbed to death in his home in the Mission Terrace Apartments in November of 1986. There were fingerprints and a bloody handprint left behind, but Escondido police couldn't identify a suspect until now. And the family is thrilled. I just never thought this day would come. I mean, it's been 32 years. So for it finally to happen is just fabulous. I'm just sad that my mom and my uncle aren't here with us because they, um, this would mean a lot to them. The fingerprints were found on a bathroom faucet but weren't clear enough to make an ID. A state-of-the-art camera, though, recently provided a high-resolution photograph of those prints, and that paid off. Uh, it wasn't uh, maybe a good enough quality, and so they can enhance that fingerprint and get something close. And when they did and got the match back, I know uh, that it was a big, a big day for the crime lab as well. Matching the prints and DNA from the bloody palm print, detectives arrested Nathan Mathis at his home in Ontario. The cold case team never stopped looking. In the case, and so we made a promise to that family several years ago that we would do everything that we could within this police department to get Salvier in the brutal slaying of their 75-year-old grandfather. And at 7 o'clock, the victim's single question to the suspect. Live in Escondido, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.